Hey Automation Builders! This video is meant to be a supplement to the Automation Fixture Modding Part 4 video. Only a few things have changed, so hopefully you're seeing this in line with the YouTube playlist right before you're about to watch the video exporting your mods to Automation, the car company tycoon game. The most important change is that we're now using Unreal Engine version 4.27.2, so make sure you have that game engine installed when you run the latest SDK to launch the Automation project. The other changes are pretty minor, such as some UI differences pertaining to fixture thumbnail generation. To generate a fixture thumbnail, the UI now looks like this, and has some different buttons. For a fixture mod, don't get tripped up and try to use the Generate from Meshes menu. Make sure you're in the Thumbnail Generation dropdown. Now you just add as many array elements as you need to generate thumbs for all your fixtures, then simply click Generate Thumbnails from List button. Generating thumbnails for RIMs is also similar, however, we're no longer using blueprints. We now have RIM preview files. These you will need to copy from the example RIM, since as of the making of this video, raw RIM preview files are not available from the CAMSO menu. From here, generating RIM thumbs is self-explanatory. Just don't hit the wrong button. <laughs> we're generating thumbnails from list, not generating all vanilla wheels. Ask me how I know not to hit that button. Also, now you have access to five rim materials instead of the two we used to be hamstrung to, so let your creative juices flow. Thanks for your patience. Now, on with part four of Automation Fixture Modding.